Every once in a while, technology comes around that allows you to, to see things differently. You get this remarkable perspective or this remarkable ability to do something that hasn't been able to be done before. But then the question becomes, what can you do with it? How can you apply it to make something meaningful out of it? When I was a kid, I was always taking things apart. I would take apart anything I could get my hands on. People would come over and drop off old VCRs or radios, and I would throw it into a big box. Uh, I would carry around everywhere and call it my big box of everything. As I've become more interested in business over the years, I've, I tend to think of the mind of an entrepreneur like the basement of your ideas, filled with dozens of projects and ideas and things that you've been working on. And you may pick things up and put them down and leave them for a while, but then every once in a while, you have an idea that comes along that you know is a great idea, something that's amazing. And for me, that idea was drones. I saw them as tools that allow people to gather data, to ask questions and answer questions that weren't previously possible. And I was given the opportunity to take that idea and bring it to the light through following a team of scientists down to Costa Rica in their pursuits to research sea turtles. Normally a team of researchers is only able to cover a mile or two of beach. But with drones, we were hoping to take that mile or two and expand it to 10 to 20 miles and hopefully have the opportunity to reach places that they couldn't reach by land. During the day, we'd fly the drone up and down the beach, surveying it and looking for the tracks from the night before and also seeing where the turtles came in from and where they laid their nests. We were also able to look at tidal patterns and beach dynamics and see how the beach was changing over time. So because sea turtles are nocturnal and they only lay their eggs at night, we would then take a drone at night and using infrared, fly up and down the beaches, looking for the turtles as they're coming in from the water to lay their nests. Once we found one of the turtles coming in, we would be able to notify the scientists that the turtle was coming in. They would send their team out to take the measurements and to record what kind of species it is and how many eggs it was laying. And if need be, we, would, we could make adjustments from there. On one of the nights, a leatherback turtle came in but laid her nest too close to the water's edge. And in order to protect the nest from the tides the next day, we had to dig up the eggs, move them to a safer location, and hide them from poachers. So now that I've had this experience, and I'm back at Boston College taking business classes and, and thinking about it and reflecting on what I did, whether it is in science or business or healthcare, what I'm looking to learn, and I'm only 19 years old, I don't, there's a lot I don't know, but that's what I'm looking to learn at Boston College. How can I take those ideas, whether it's that little drone in the basement, and learn how to apply that drone to impacting something to the scale of the populations of sea turtles. That's what interests me.